Alright, so today we're doing what would a god do with you if they met you? This is not a religious quiz and only fits a fictional idea of god. Alright, let's just, I don't feel like commenting on that, let's just jump right in. Do you have big hopes and dreams for your future? I mean, I'm currently in university, so make of that what you will. Option one is I do, but also I'm afraid to hope because it rarely ends up how I wanted it. Which I think is true for me, but it leans a bit too heavily into the whole, like, nihilist thing that seems to be popular in, like, memes and stuff now, so see if I can maybe avoid it. We'll see how it goes. Option two is yeah, and I hope they will work out. Which I think is a bit redundant to say, because you wouldn't hope that your dreams don't work out. Option three is I sure do, but they are, uh, impossible. Which, I mean, like, in that case, at least you're, like, going for it, right? Option four is, nah, I'm just living. Which I think is, like, actually the best route to go. Because, you know, if you don't have dreams, you can't fail. Which sounds, like, depressing, but... I mean, it's a weird thing to say, but you don't really need to have, like, dreams to be happy. And option five is, honestly, I'm lost and I don't know. Which, I mean, I'm not lost. I know kind of how I want things to go, which is going to make it all the more fun when they inevitably do not. My, like, ideal would be the fourth option of just living, but I think option number two, yeah, and I hope they will work out, is the closest to my current state, but it seems just a bit basic, you know, a bit plain, so I'm going with the first option, just... I said I was going to try to avoid it, but... I mean, it's kind of just the only workable option, I think. Question two is, are you eager to learn new things? And like I said before, I'm in university, so I'll let you decide. Option one is depends on my mood, which... I mean, most things about your personality depend at least somewhat on your mood, but like, I feel like that's missing the point. Option number two is depends on a lot of things, actually, which likewise, I think also kind of misses the point. Option three is only if it is necessary, and option four is only if it is useful, which makes me question what they mean by necessary in option three, because normally if you, normally when you say something is necessary to learn, the implication is like something that you're going to use, so I think I don't see a difference between them. But the bigger concern is that's just kind of a boring outlook to have in life, I think. Like, to just want to not know any things, which, tying into that, we have option five, which is not really, which I think functionally would be the same as the third and fourth options, because, like, like would the implication be things that you don't learn things that are necessary? And just, like, die, I guess? It doesn't really make sense. Um, Option six is, yeah, I love learning, with two exclamation marks, which is, in some measures, the worst number of exclamation marks to have. Besides, I don't really feel that excited about really anything, but that being said, it's the only good option, so I kind of have to pick it by default. Question three is, you are spending a hot summer day at the beach. What are you wearing? Which is kind of a personal question, you know? I. I don't know what kind of show you think this is, but... Option one is I came here to have a good time and show as much skin as possible. Like, I don't... I'm not really into the whole, like, skin thing. Which uh, sounds kind of weird out of context. Like, I guess... I get it if you're, like, aloe, all the more power to you, but for me, that's... I don't really see the appeal in that from, like, either side. Option two is swimsuit, and on top of that, light clothes that dry quickly so it can go for a swim and then come back and go buy ice cream or something. This, maybe I'm like just dumb and don't know this, but do they make clothes that dry quickly explicitly? Like, I'm sure some materials are less water absorbent than others, but I don't know, the way they word it, it sounds like, I don't know, like a magic cloak or something. Option three is I don't really care. I'll spend most of the time in water anyway, which 
fun fact about me, I don't like the idea of drowning, so so I typically stay out of water. Option four is I am really uncomfortable with wearing the bare minimum to cover myself, so I would avoid going to the beach. Which I avoid going to the beach because I cannot stand heat and I said I don't like water, so my typical solution is just to avoid putting myself in those kind of situations in the first place. Option five is something pretty and weather appropriate. I don't really want to swim, but dipping my toes in the water would be nice. Which I mean, to be honest, my personal like aesthetics in clothing have shifted pretty dramatically in the last like year or two. I wouldn't mind getting something that would be uh pretty, I guess, you know? Option six is I don't really care because I just don't. I don't really know what you want me to say about that. And option seven is linen pants and shirt. It looks like they ran out of ideas at the end, given how simple this answer is compared to the others. I don't really know what linen pants are. I mean, I know they're pants made out of linen, I'm guessing, but I'm not too familiar with the aesthetics, like I don't know if I'd be able to have access to some of them, so I guess I'm gonna go with something pretty. I don't know if it really seems in line with my character, but it's what resonated with me. Question four is pick a lyric. It looks like they actually have who the artist is for each one, so that that's really nice actually. This question is really easy because I only consider songs that I know if there's like any that I know from these kind of lists, and I'm familiar with like exactly one of these songs, um, which is Achilles Come Down. Like I'm sure I've heard Lithium by Nirvana before, and I know of like Mountain Goats and Florence and the Machine, but I don't know those songs specifically. So like, this is the only option for me. Question five is a text box question. And it says, what do you think the playlist with all the songs from the previous question is called? Based on what I know, I think those songs lent indie, so I don't really have any good ideas for this. I'm just going to like go on my primal instincts. I'm just going to put, I'm alone in my house and I'm getting slapped. Ah, that's, that's dumb, but I don't know what else to put, so. I'm going for it. Question six is you are in a gay, I'm guessing it's Chinese drama, with the parentheses don't have to have any knowledge about C dramas to answer. Which character would you like to be? I think I've like seen like aesthetic posts or screenshots of whatever this is from, but I don't actually know like what this is even called. So just looking through. The first option is the hot protagonist slash villain. I like that you get to be either. The second option is the hot protagonist slash villain's love interest with a better reputation than their love interest. Which I guess they mean the second person here is the love interest of the first person, and the second person has the better reputation. Which I mean makes it strictly the better choice of the two at least, right? The third option is side character who did nothing wrong. And as you know, I do a lot of things wrong. That's kind of my brand, so that's not going to work for me. Option four, however, I see. I didn't even read it before. Option four is evil gay side character who did a lot of wrong things, which I like that. And your last option is the main character's adopted son. I'm an adult now, but I still kind of like the idea of being adopted. So it's tempting, but the having... The problem with being in that situation, though, is that you have to live under the rules of your providers. And I like the idea of having freedom to just, like, be a bad person. So I'm going with the evil gay side character. And I think that's it. Alright, that's what we got. What even was the question to this quiz? Uh, oh, this is what God would do if they met me. And my result was help you, which is... I, I'm I'm good with that. I don't see how the picture is related, but... I, I like the idea of being helped. The description is, you met God and they saw you were pretty overwhelmed with tasks. So they did write that essay and vacuum your floor. Grammar's a little off, gets a little like muddy around the middle, but overall that's that's pretty accurate. I mean, I 
don't take any courses where I have to write essays, but that is overall. Yeah, and I got the most popular choice, I see, so that's pretty disappointing. I mean, the whole point of these is to get the least, right? And I see some pretty um questionable results here, but I like how that one differs against pin you against the wall, like... It leaves that one a lot more open for interpretation. And always you rate it five stars, and yep, that's, that's everything really.